What's up guys, Max is here, Trader Custom Engraving. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna talk about different burrs that I use. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, diamond burr, tungsten carbide, steel burr, and I'm gonna throw in a little bonus for you guys. So starting with uh, diamond burr, this is something that I started with when I started engraving cups. Uh, this one in particular is 7103 uh, made by Dremel. Uh, I really like this one, although it costs about 10 bucks, so it's a little bit uh, expensive. I found um, on eBay you can get them a little bit cheaper, but um, yeah, these are pretty good. I tend to use more of a ball bird than anything else because um, that's what I like to use. But they do make different sizes and shapes. You know, if you want to do some real detailed work or use them sideways and stuff, uh, you can do that. Uh, I've accumulated some uh, sets over time. I bought these on Amazon. Uh, these are a little bit cheaper, but uh, they go through quick. So if you want something that lasts, these are not it. Uh, there's also another set that I got and uh, I haven't really used much of them because they don't really last that much. I also accumulated some other uh, sets right here. Uh, most of these are ball burrs. Uh, here is an example of what I would use diamond burr on. So uh, this anchor right here is a lot of detail and any other burr that I have, I will have a difficulty engraving this design. But uh, using diamond burr, I was able to do this with no problem. And it comes out really nice. It comes out like a, a scratched look. Here's a little uh, a golf cart that I engraved. But as you can tell, it gives a nice uh, scratched look. Also, I would like to mention when you're using diamond burrs, you want to make sure you constantly wet the uh, burr itself. Just because uh, with you know rotation, it creates uh, friction and friction creates heat so you constantly want to dip your burr into water to cool it down all right guys next up is going to be tungsten carbide burrs these burrs is usually what i use nowadays i started doing all almost all of my cups with tungsten carbide because they last so long and uh the texture they leave is just you know it's crazy it shines pretty cool here's an example of my uh, the cup that i've recently done uh, it takes out paint like nothing else and it, it cuts in deep So I like that a lot. You don't have to do a double pass to uh, take the paint out. Uh, I got a 9905 Dremel burr. This burr right here in particular can uh, take out uh, paint or metal like nothing else uh, Here's an example of a uh, stippled cup that I've done uh, when I first started engraving and I was literally trying any kind of burr to stipple like this on the cup. And I just couldn't find anything that would work. And uh, I tried steel burr, those will just burn out. And then I tried uh, diamond burr, those work well, but they also burn out really fast. So uh, this burr right here uh, opened up my eyes and I was like, wow, this takes out metal like nothing else. Yeah, I will definitely uh, keep using uh, tungsten carbide. And, you know, they make different kinds. I just bought me this uh, $25 burr. Uh, I haven't used it much, but as you can see, it's got a double cut ball. And uh, yeah, it, it cuts amazing. And a uh, quick tip with uh, using a tungsten carbide burr, uh, you know, any metal to metal friction creates heat. So you want to use some kind of lubrication. Uh, these are the two products that I've used in the past, and uh, I found that you know these work pretty well. Uh, this one is uh, more liquidy, and this one is more like powder-based. So, uh, depending on what you like, uh, I, I like the Pro Cut better, I think, and uh, yeah, it works well. So next up is going to be Steel Burr. So I've used steel burr for uh, some of the cups, particularly cups they uh, have a vinyl type paint. Diamond burr has difficulty going through vinyl type paint and uh, also uh, paint that's a little bit thick. So uh, these burrs do a pretty good job at it, uh, although it's kind of hard to control these, I found. And uh, I will show you an example of the cup that I've done with my dog. So here's the cup that I've done uh, with a steel burr. 
my lines were weren't as great because it felt kind of like ice ring with the uh, uh, cutting burr. You know, I was kind of sliding all the way around. It wasn't really gripping that well. And also, um, it was wearing these burrs out. I don't know if you can tell with this, but um, it, it, it wears them out pretty quick. So uh, I know this is great for woodworking, but as far as engraving, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't use these if I had to. I would use them, but uh, I, would, I wouldn't really recommend using this for engraving. Uh, metal specifically so I got this uh, little set right here and uh, You can tell this is steel because it's starting to rust as it's been in my garage ever since I got these and uh, They started to rust uh, But I will say though if uh, let's say you're trying to engrave something with a uh, diamond burr and it's too much work to uh, take the paint off I've been using these burrs to uh, basically chip the paint off and then come in with the diamond burr and just uh, even it all out. Alright guys, and for my bonus, uh, rubber burr. Alright, this, uh, these are amazing. If you guys want to clean your metal up, let's say if you have, for example, I've used this after I engraved this with steel burr. I had some of the paint left over, so I didn't want to just keep coming back to it. And you know, you take a rubber burr and you just polish it out and it shines like crazy. It works really well. Just a little warning though, whenever you uh, using this, it's gonna smell like rubber. So if you wanna wear a mask or something, uh, go right ahead. Cause I will tell you right now, this will smell like burning rubber. All right guys, well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you uh, learned something and uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I appreciate you and, and all your support and I'll see you in the next one.